Um. Not really. So we're in. Kind of already went to the nautical society. Yep, you went there. Visited at the very least. I don't. I can't really think of anything specific. I'm assuming there's no Karite like uh, tribes here. Uh, uh, not like not in the complete tribes. Not in the near vicinity to the city. No. Yeah. There's a slave market. Yeah. You might be able to buy a full tribe. You know, go set yeah. some slaves free. <laughs> just, just make a shit ton of money and buy every single slave. <laughs> I want to buy every slave, all of them. You know the. That sounds nice, but then you're like, well, that's just gonna encourage them to go get more slaves. Yeah, right. You're just you're just giving them money. <laughs> They're like, oh, this you're, guy buys slaves. You're just feeding the industry. Oh no, I I meant free some slaves by means of violence. Right. <laughs> right. That that is better. He meant he meant free slaves. You know, for free for no money. Free. Yeah, free yeah. slaves. <laughs> Let's go get some free slaves. It, it's like. <laughs> Buying slaves, except better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pirates. It's Violence nice. is the answer. Yeah. Yay. Um. Hey, and did we like, ever? Yeah, violence works. Did we ever find out if uh, or what Dio wanted that tooth for? Uh, he never told you, and I don't we think never, we ever asked. We never asked. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm a little scared to give him access to three of them, just because we saw what one of them can maybe do. Yeah. Why don't you give me a smarts roll, Robin? Uh. I mean, maybe sure, why play. not? You can give me one less Benny. Oh, right. I haven't given you Benny yet. There it is. Maybe he's just like an Indiana Jones figure and just really wants to put together a museum. Mm. Or maybe not. <laughs> um, I got a 16. Okay. So you know that amulet you gave him, right? Yep. You're, you're definitely wearing that when you opened up the box. Oh, yes, yes. I'm aware that, okay. that he's aware of the other two. <laughs> yes. It's just whether or not we want to do something about it before we get to him. Mm -hmm. we're, were we going to bury that? We were going to bury that. We were going to bury it. We, 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 just gonna, we didn't decide we where or how. Probably by digging. I think there in was the also the the other option of digging in the ocean ah. and just putting it back where it was basically, but a little bit less uh, deep and less protected. Yeah, yeah. that'd but be like... hilarious. Hey, Keto, uh, our boon is to guard this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Should oh, be like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that binding? Probably, considering she was just chilling there the whole time. I mean, I think the reason why she'd be most pissed is because, like, it was imprisoning her. If she just had to drag it around with her, I don't think she'd care too much. Oh, yeah, maybe. But then, like, I feel like... Just like, a constant how reminder do we get it back? <laughs> right, we'll have back. one boon. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> That's the All answer. Right. We stole this thing from you. Can you hold on to it for a while? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be the best. Oh my god, legendary! Mm -hmm. That's that's the ultimate. Uh, <laughs> don't know what to do with it once we have it. Type yep. of situation. Yeah, we're like a dog chasing cars. <laughs> yep. All right, we got it. The legendary item of fucking MacGuffin. What do we do with it? I don't know. Let's hide it in a vault. <laughs> Let's give it back. Let's give it back. Uh, never mind. We don't want this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was the adventure, oh, not God, the not so the good. item that we wanted. <laughs> yeah, I was I was actually thinking about that. Like, if if towards the end of the campaign, if we don't use that boon, I might 
want to use it for uh, finding out like some ancient legend or something to restore Luca. Because I think she won't have the power to do it, but she might know of stuff. Yeah. I don't remember how old she said she was. She, I mean, she's a sea monster. I don't know how much she knows about like magic. She was in that vault for several thousand years, probably. Yeah, but I mean, it's probably had to have had so at least older a few than that. Years. Older than a thousand years old. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm assuming she had a, a some life outside the vault to get that. I don't powerful. know what sort of social life or goals Gorgons usually have outside of being giant sea monsters. All right. Most Gorgons are not giant sea monsters. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a distinction. An anomaly. Oh, okay. That yeah. was an anomaly. Most Gorgons are humanoid-sized uh, creatures that with snake hair. Man, I wish we... Okay, I know... <laughs> I know that's usually what they are, but I didn't know if that was true in the world or not. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if we asked her that. Mm. Uh, Did we yeah, ask she... her why she's gross? She said that the... Um, the... Her... her uh, Flavors in... or the captors? The people who... Her captors, yeah, that was the word I was looking for. Her they captors... Said, uh, made her that way oh okay so she wasn't always big sea monster yeah i turned her into a monster so she was out in the world as a normal gorgon Mm -hmm. all right so then yeah it'd be the same as finding any other normal gorgon and asking them hey what do you know about this so yeah well she might be older than that right right but that life was lived in a vault is my true yeah I was going for maybe she was this giant legendary sea creature forever. You know, she just attained this power on her own, and they imprisoned her. But no, if they made her that big, then nope. Never mind. My whole theory is kaput. (laughs) It wouldn't be uh, worth to use a boon on knowledge, then. I I don't think. I'd rather have her fucking sink some Arnaki ships if we need. If we're in a pinch. Right. I mean, that's the most obvious. Use. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like that's that that is the <laughs> obvious one. But if we didn't end up needing it towards the end, then oh, I would sure. I would use it for something like that. I hear you. Or hear you. or we could create a giant mecha or not a mecha, a giant mech. Yeah. And then film a Japanese style film mm. and okay. sell it and make billions in the box office and our boom would have have her fight it how do we know how do we record this uh yeah you will first have to invent uh film all right so then we'll just be millionaires maybe like live theater then there we go (laughs) yeah it'll be live theater and then you know everyone will make tapestries of it and i am here (laughs) what do you need me to do perform for us cameras exist (laughs) Puppet shows. There we go. You could ask her for a selfie. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, not, do not tempt me. A hundred percent sure. I will point out you're not a hundred percent sure if the uh, if the petrification works through photos. Oh, nobody's you ever... want to find out? That'd be kind of neat. Oh, we I mean, ask for a picture of her. Nobody's face. ever ha- gotten a picture of the Gorgon's face. As far oh, as you know, that's you a, write a that's research a paper. Scary magic item. <laughs> a picture <laughs> of a gorgon stare. Mm-hmm. I mean, that'd be a neat. Uh... Oh yeah, we just have like a like a portable stone ray. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. We, if if we go the route of pictures, we can't just waste it on one picture. We need a few, like need an action shot where like she's kind of attacking yeah, like a our ship. Shoot. You know, <laughs> and attacking with air quotes. So it's like, hey, look what we fought and survived. We yeah, we, we yeah. get all the best. Like that's recruitment right there. We'd never oh. have. <laughs> what a great use. Mm-hmm. Something like that, you know? Isn't it? Like, ah, we don't need it. We're we're good. So on great. Our <laughs> hey, we're this, never gonna find another. Good we're never gonna find uh, another super gorgon. So we need to use it to its best practicality. So, uh, what's south of the city? What's south of the city? Let's go. 
Let's go to uh, they, almost all of them go up into the uh, the mountains uh, on the Isle of Katiros to mines. So, okay. zoop, this is the Isle that you are currently on. <clears throat> oh, did you do something? Oh, uh, uh, oh, okay. Fiza doesn't happen to be in port, does she? Um, we already checked. She wasn't. Did we? I didn't think so. I know we, we, we checked last time we were in Tetris. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. I don't believe you have checked yet. Oh, we had this conversation before. Yeah. And, and what we came <laughs> up with was that that would have been in Tetris. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I took the exact same stance I just did now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How about, how about any of our other uh, uh, old acquaintances? Old acquaintances. Um, I mean, like you know, you, kind of check out everyone, see if Pfizer's yeah, around. just kind of do a walk down the uh, yep. the dock. Yeah, look at the parking um, lot, see whose car you recognize. Seriously. Um, yeah, so you you walk down the uh, the dockyard a uh, little ways. That's number one, right? Whilst, uh, uh, yes, that's that's the the like dry dockyard, and then you know there's so like this this whole area has ships docked at them. Okay. Um, you don't spot any ships that you recognize. Okay. Most of them seem to be uh, larger merchant vessels. Oh really? Uh, there are a handful of um, Arnaki military ships. Hmm. Is that normal? Huh. Yeah, in a in a port of this size, Kateros is one of the larger cities in uh, the Curse Sea. Okay, so to have it's multiple like warships is fine. The, about equivalent in size to to Bahrain. Okay. All right. So, yeah, if there's yeah. just a shitload of warships, like, hmm, something's going on. But yeah, there's there's not like a fleet or anything. Okay. <laughs> That's why we didn't go to Dockham. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Alright. Uh, cool. I'm just trying to think of whatever what else, whatever else I had going on in this town. I don't think anything. Uh, has This was the teeth, right? This was where they... No, nope. that's Ketris. Oh, yeah, my bad. Katiros, Ketris. Okay, my bad. Yeah. They're close. Yeah. Alright, yeah, uh, our first time in, in Katiros, right? This is the first uh, time with a map, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first time with oh. a map. You you stopped briefly there for like a couple of days at one point. Oh, uh, like, that's right. And got some you were fire. Passing through to another destination. I think it's... it was towards Dakan. God. Okay, so University Bashar Mining. Kareshi Industries. What the fuck is that? It's a mining company. Okay. Like basically rivals? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's two big mining companies. Oh, that's, I wanted to go to Crust Ease Sop because <laughs> that was when you first when you first put this map up the other day. I that was like one that I zoned in on, or zeroed in. I'm like, what the fuck is that place? I'm going there. <laughs> I don't even care what it is. It could be a fucking orphanage. I don't care. I'm going there and I'm buying something. <laughs> okay. Child? If I have to, if that's all they got for sale. <laughs> Uh, all right. Anyone else want to go to your local orphanages? Buy a child today. Crusty's. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this place. I mean, it's probably like fucking food. I like you. I mean, you as would... long as it's not a poorhouse. It is some kind of store, from Krusty's what you house. you get uh, from the uh, the general like uh, talk around town. Uh, no, the the whorehouse is the bait and tackle. Mm -hmm. That's where I was already. Yeah. Is it spelled B A T E? Uh. No. No. Damn. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah. So you're gonna go to to Krusty's. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm expecting uh, a sad clown. Hey, hey. anything else gone? Uh. Yeah. I'll go. Okay. I'm just interested yeah, in this place. Just at, at one point, while during your downtime, you 
head uh, a little ways in. Once you get past the wall uh, to Katira's, it's like okay-ish mm. to intense slums. Oh. Like very slummy. Okay. Lots of shacks. <laughs> Shanties and... Yeah, and the like. A-frames. play your rich song. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'll play that while we're cruising through. <laughs> All right. You. Um, yeah, so you, uh, you get to, to Krusty's sop. <laughs> you don't have to play uh, <laughs> Might be distracting, but. <laughs> I can, I can hear it in the back. I did it like more of a limerick. I like redid it. Um, so. Uh, we're in we're in the we're in the area for crusties you said yep so you, you get to the the corner building uh and you see a sign that's hanging from a single chain just kind of slowly rotating um and there is uh some very poor handwriting sort of scrawled across it um and the the you see Krusty's stop as is spelled there yep. uh scrawled across it and uh yeah it looks like some kind of store uh it's got like a couple of windows one of them is boarded up um the other one is the glass is so dirty that it's basically black um the place looks closed but you're not sure yeah, I'd just go in anyway. Yeah. So as, as you sort of like open the door, uh, the top hinge falls off, and you just kind of like the it sort of twists in its frame awkwardly, and you have to kind of like lift it up <laughs> to put it to the side of the uh, the entryway. Hmm. And uh, you step into this shop that is just packed full of junk. It, it's like a pawn shop. Um, dumped all of the things that they had out into like a dumpster, and then okay. just dragged it all back in and threw it on the ground, Inclu all right. including the trash. <laughs> but, um, why? <laughs> there is a uh, a desk that is sort of like off kilter. Um, one side's like a couple inches higher than the other, and you see a. Uh, a frizz of hair sort of sticking up over the top of the desk and uh, some like scraping sounds coming from behind it. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Huh? Hello. And you're like sort of two eyes. Uh, one of them's a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. Uh, twitching around, um, kind of peek up over the top of the desk, and he, he says, uh, Who is it? Uh, potential customers, I think. Is this, oh. a, is this a place of business? It looks like something. Yes. Something else. Shop, shop for adventure needs. <laughs> Are you crusty? Hmm. Uh, he sort of stands up all the way, and you see this man who looks kind of like simultaneously like he's he's like in his late thirties and late eighties at the same time. Like that is a huge gap. <laughs> like his skin isn't isn't that like weathered or anything, and his hair is is still this sort of like brownish uh, with like a little bit of graying. Um, but he just, like, walks like he's decrepit and old. <laughs> mm. And uh, you see there's a lot of, like, sores across his, his like, hands and arms and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, quite a lot of stuff. And the main thing is his, his eyes just... <laughs> they're... They look like they've seen some shit. We'll put it that way. <laughs> Eat me all, brother. <laughs> uh, got everything. Uh, what is it? 
What is it? What is it you on? I don't know. I wasn't sure what kind of shop this was, and I can't really seem to see much of everything, or of anything, because there's too much everything. Everything. <laughs> you th I, tell me what you want. I can find it. I fucking no idea. By having an everything store, it's hard to narrow down. If we were in, you know, a weapons shop, I'd want weapons. Uh, you want weapons? I don't know. I have weapons. <laughs> kind of like starts shuffling through, looking through piles of stuff. My God! And I just kind of talk to you know, whisper to the to the crew or, or Tara and Robin like I don't think we're gonna find shit here. This guy's crazy. Or we might find like everything. Or I have no idea. This is. <laughs> You're right though. He's not a good salesman. Um, you can see magic items, can't you? Oh, yeah. I, I'll take a peek. Right. I got a nine for notice. Do I see anything that jumps out to me? Yeah, let's uh, find something in here. Roll me a d100. I'll do the same. Because I have to. Yeah. Seven. Uh, yeah, you can, you can give me a, a notice roll as well, Tara. Uh, 30. That was your notice okay. roll. <laughs> uh,. Six without penalties. Six without penalties? Okay. So, looking through, um... Yeah, there's a lot of, like, random stuff. Uh, some of it is just straight-up trash. Uh, there is, like, useful objects that are just, like, random useful things mm -hmm. um, that you can find. Uh... The one thing that jumps out to Robin sees it first, but Tara, you notice it especially as like Robin sort of steps up to inspect it. Uh, there is a amulet that is hanging on a like a coat hanger um, that has a faint magical aura. Um, it's this amulet on like a uh, just like a, a string um, with. Uh, sort of like a clay medallion type thing. Um, and it depicts the face of a person who's it, kind of like one of those theater faces uh, with the the faces sort of like wrinkled up, like um, in, in disgust almost, or s some mixture of like disgust and surprise. Uh, and it glimmers with a very faint magic aura. How much do you want for this? Uh-huh. He kind of looks over and says, oh, that's, uh, it's, uh, uh it cures colds. It, um, uh. Cures colds? It, what are you talking about? Magic? Even yeah. he that it's magical. It's lucky. Is, is this dude a mage? You look at him? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, as far as you can tell, at least. So, uh, it's 50. I'll give you ten. Mm. Come on, it's been sitting here for like what, ten years? No, it's like ten months. Right, no one else is gonna buy it. Twenty. Still less than half. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Give me a persuasion roll. We have thousands. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> he kind of like shuffles over to you and squints at you. He's like, You have any money? I got 15. Let me see. I pull out 15 coins. He kind of looks at him, looks at you, is like, okay, deal. Uh, then turns over to Mr. Dibs and pulls out uh, something uh, from a another like pile of stuff. Uh, it's this weapon. What is it? Um, <laughs> this guy's fucking dumb. <laughs> I love him. It's a double barrel shotgun. 
Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Got any more of these? Um, like any kind, double barrel or or other. Um, let's look around here. That's the biggest one. Uh, ah, I was gonna say, how about any of those giant pistols? But I doubt it. Uh, giant pistol. I'm from the Northland. Uh, oh, oh. I, it's uh, this is one of them, over by the grave here. What? There's a grave in here. Uh, no, the grave over there, and it just kind of like generally indicates sort of back towards the dock area. The the, the grave yard market. Uh is it? Yeah. <laughs> so they might have one there. For mm -hmm. All right. No, so, those big guys. Yeah. All right, how much is a double barrel shotgun normally? I gotta look. Uh, yeah, I'll check here. I don't know. Uh, four hundred marks. All right. I, I say, uh, I look. I inspect it. How does it look? Is it seen some use? Give me a repair roll. Yeah. So regardless, I'm offering him a hundred less than normal. But we'll see if I'm even going lower. Why is my D4 out of out of sight? I got a oh, I got exploding four for another one. Oh boy, for another one. Jesus. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, if you fired the shotgun, it would blow up in your face. <laughs> what are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Uh, the the barrel is actually like blocked by some kind of like sticky substance. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you sort of like s like flick it open and look down at it. It's 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 blocked. You could you could pull Kelsey just carry it around with you until you find someone that you don't like. Give it to them and see if they'll fire it. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's basically uh, what I was thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. I uh, so yeah, I say, what are you trying to kill me? This thing's a death sentence. Well, that's what it does, yeah. No, to whoever fires it, this would explode in your face. This thing hasn't been maintained for shit. I'll give you what's the metal's worth. Which would be like, what, 50? Oh, I think it's worth at least 100. It's a gun. It's a gun that fires once and kills the user. It's not a gun at all. It's useful. What? Seems useful. <laughs> if it's guaranteed to kill someone, that's what guns do, eh? <laughs> the user. That's not what guns do. But, oh. same thing. Uh, uh, it is it, is, it is purely scrap metal. I will buy it for 50. If not, throw it back in the pile. <laughs> he kind of looks at it and looks at you. Ah, like, oh, fine. <laughs> It is, yeah, it is scrap metal. <laughs> All right, uh, suicide shotgun. I'm gonna carry. Uh, double barrel. Um, would you like to continue looking around? <laughs> I don't think so. Did you find anything magical, Tara? Uh, it's just an amulet. Yeah, that's that's the only thing you can really make out without mm -hmm. having to like go digging mm -hmm. uh, i was hoping for a little bit more more but uh. oh uh, we have uh, food <laughs> he kind of shuffles over to a, a cabinet and pulls out um a uh, like a drawer where there is several plates of like, what, like dried fish that look like they've been in there for at least a year. Oh my god. Guy, guy. You, <laughs> you need to to do something about your organization. 
This, this I, is, it's this, just the one shot. This is an atrocity. Yeah, you're lucky you made any sales today. Hmm. Uh, I guess so. I mean, this is good. It it keeps well, and he taps the fish. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is, it, is it rock solid? Yeah, that's a selling point. <laughs> keeps robbers at bay because you could use it as a weapon. Yeah, weapon. That's what you're looking for, right? No, I'm looking for the exit. Yeah, it's over there. <laughs> Points. Uh, yeah, to the exit. Uh, you are lucky that you just don't have anything worth a damn. Otherwise, you'd be unconscious and we'd have everything. He nods. <laughs> well, <sighs> <that was> interesting. <laughs> yes. so you're gonna leave Krusty's shop. Yeah, I definitely know okay. where I'm going to like send guys that ask us like. Who are you working for? Oh, this guy at Krusty Sop. Go talk to him. <laughs> as as you leave, he says, "Have a nice day." Mm -hmm. You too. Um, Don't do too many more drugs. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't do drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, yeah. So <laughs> that was a little, nice little adventure. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting something more exotic, not just fucking the dump. <laughs> I got a medallion that cures colds. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That could be pretty useful on a ship. We'll see what kind and, of colds. And I now know how I'm spending my downtime. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of uh, downtime... Uh, cool. If you guys would like, uh, we can move on to doing downtime activity stuff. Uh, I, Since you know what you're doing, Robin, why don't you go first? I'm going to figure out what this medallion thing does. All right. Give me an occult roll. Oh. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so it doesn't cure the common cold or any kind of cold. Um, well, it sort of does, but also just doesn't. Let's hear how. Um, <laughs> so you, you figure out what the enchantment is, if you can call it that. Uh, this is the, uh, brooch of sneezing. What? Uh, or amulet of sneezing, I guess I said it was an amulet, didn't I? Yeah. Um, so if worn, the, uh... The, the bearer will sneeze once every hour, uh, but will never sneeze any other time. Oh my gosh. What? And do you know, like, when on the hour? Uh, on the hour. Okay, so like, if you're trying to be sneaky and you know that it's gonna, you're not gonna be sneaking on the hour, then... Put it on. I guess if you're going through a bunch of dust. <laughs> yeah. It's quite All dusty. Right. Roll vigor to not sneeze. Aha! I've got the amulet. <laughs> I'm immune to sneezing. Yes. Aha! Dust I mean, has nothing I, on me. I guess if you have the cold, you'll only sneeze once an hour instead of like. Yeah. Yeah, so it's. That's probably why he thought it, it cured the cold. It's just repressing. The symptoms. It's not yeah, actually. You're still sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're cured. It's just every hour you you relapse. Well, that was a fun downtime. That is a ridiculous. Uh, that that would. <laughs> it's one of my magical curiosities. Um. I hate whatever table you rolled that off of. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are useless. Yep, that's what I mean. It had to be just a big useless table. <laughs> Some of them are kind of useful. That's the hourglass of uh, That's that one. meditation came from that one. That one's useful. Yeah. I sort mean, of. That one's as useful as the suicide shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Just takes the right, you know. Um, yeah, th that would take uh, one one of your downtime actions, Robin. 
Okay, and I have two. Um, I will I don't know, what are you guys doing? Maybe I'll just uh, I'm gonna chill the fuck out and find some hash to smoke and get some sanity back. I'm gonna uh, help her. You are you got you went through all your hash already? <laughs> I I actually haven't had hash for a while. Alright, yeah, I've I've still got I don't know what this is. I've got eight. I don't know if that's eight ounces, eight grams. Eight eight smokes worth. That's eight grams then. <laughs> oh, recall eight, that eight. Recall, Call eight that eight puffs. Drums. Yeah, no, no, we're calling that eight bowls worth. That's the yeah. pipes. That's eight packings yeah, eight, of eight, the pipe. Eight, pipe. eight packings of the pipe. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help Tara. You can help her again. smoke weed. Yes. Well, I'll. <laughs> that's that's I'll like community. That needs. I'll help. like boost her spirit while she's. Or she I don't know. I'll, yeah, I, I'm gonna assist her to get spirit back. Okay, sure. Um, I'll I'll do the same. I'll be in the smoking circle. And we'll oh, I'll assist him as well. Do you guys want to roll on the carousing table? Yeah, that sounds neat. Um, well, I do. I do. I'll get high and go carousing carous. table. I don't remember seeing this table. Uh, because it is a table that I have for if anybody ever, uh, carouses. Yep. You know. Yeah. Oh. I vaguely remember that from the last campaign. It, yeah, it, it's not often used. Yeah, I'm not much of a carouser lately. Yeah. This is sure, the character yeah, to do it. Um, Robin will do no carousing. She'll just help them with their carousing. Okay. We'll sure. Start, we'll start, we'll pregame on the ship. <laughs> pregame. <laughs> You're going to be their, their designated driver? <laughs> I'm their TD. Yeah. So you I just roll and then go out in the town. Yep. I, mean, I just make sure that they don't get into too much trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to send Paul with, <laughs> that way you can watch us. No, no I'll come with. Okay. Okay. Because we're gonna be going to some places, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Drug, no. drug dens and gambling halls and. Oh, it's a different. One. I. I... I know on the on the dark space carousing table I had, which I don't think anybody ever used because you guys were busy doing other stuff. I always I, I mean, sometimes I would go in the streets. I had one of the really low results where you would uh, lose an organ or yeah. piece of cyberware. Oh wow! <laughs> Didn't uh, Silas go on the town every now and then? Just wake like, up. Yeah, but he was like stealing life. things from people. Oh, okay. Okay. He was stealing from the carousers. He was the organ thief. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Um, <laughs> he was the one that made that. probably rolled at some point to thief an organ. <laughs> and and snatched his kidney right from under him. Yep. Pickpocket this dude's appendix. It's like, all right, you see a guy come out of an alley with a knife wound. Oh, I, I pickpocket his, his kidney, yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so I want uh, Tara and Mr. Dibbs to both roll uh, two D20s. Two yep. 20s a piece. Two? And yep. 15. A two and a 15. I got a seven and a 14. Great. All right. Well, so. About as good. <laughs> seven. So you guys, uh, the first one is the number of marks you lose. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, wow. That's it? No, that's yeah. the steal from us. <laughs> Um, so, uh, that should be times 10. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I really like people. you, you, uh, yeah, exactly. This is your net, uh, your net, uh, change in currency. Obviously you're spending more money, but you're also, you know, like oh, okay. gambling and stuff or, you and know, playing, like doing playing the things, loot or... stealing money from people, playing the loot. Yeah. Um, so Tara, you uh you got into a couple of um good card matches um and you also did some like knife throwing and stuff you know just general things that you do at bars while high <laughs> yeah. um so i have to double check that this is still even like okay yeah 
So you can choose to either gain a d4 in gambling, or get a plus one to athletics rolls to throw bottles. Oh, that's such a difficult choice! <laughs> oh, I mean, we all know the deadliness of bottles. Yeah. <laughs> the bottles are fucking nasty. They fucking murder you. <laughs> and if you have um, a bonus? Oh. Wow. <laughs> Really difficult choice, actually. Uh, we'll, we'll go. We'll go with. Um, we'll go with the bottle throwing. Nice bottle throwing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You just you found you have a knack for for throwing bottles uh, that you picked up this week. You missed the bullseye. Oh. You missed the target with the knife a few times. And it gave you shit. You're like, fucking watch this. You stick a bottle in it somehow. <laughs> so, uh, and then, so Mr. Dibs, uh, as, as, I mean, you guys are, are hanging out together, but uh, you, you oh, being your, <laughs> your normal charismatic self, um, you have made, or you made some friends uh, amongst the locals. A, uh, a group of miners. Um, what are kids doing in the bar? Not I know people who work in a mine <laughs> yep. are uh, over the age of eighteen. Um, a, I mean, I'm here too, but also yeah, yeah, but you don't work in the mine. <laughs> um, yeah, but you made a friends with a group of these guys who uh, they're sort of like the the gang scene in Kateros. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yes. The like different groups of miners, okay. uh, and you sort of got embroiled in their little like underworld politics thing for a little while. Okay. Um, I like it. You had a couple of street scuffles. Um, somebody tried to brain you with a pickaxe at oh, one point. Oh god! Uh, but at the end of the day, you you have made friends with the uh, the workers at the the Bashara mining company and Ooh. enemies of the workers at the Qureshi Industries. Oh, uh, okay. So half the town miners in the town uh, like you and half of them hate you. Okay, let's see. Friends with the the B miners <laughs> <laughs> and enemies with the Q miners. <laughs> Q miner, I'm pretty sure that's not a note. That's not a what? That's not a, a music note. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Play a Q mine. Okay, so they're like the gang scene, you said? Pretty much, yeah. Alright. They're so, not very, like, super organized, but yeah, like the foreman. <laughs> do they have a leader? Um, Not really like a single leader. There are like rep, like bigger representatives that you know, stick out more than others, I guess. Okay. You know, like, uh, like a foreman here, or like a uh, union rep. Union rep, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So yeah, like that's. I'm just so I end up like kind of chumming with him and uh, saying, "Hey, if you need anything, you know, extra muscle, whatnot, that's we're good for that." And maybe you can. Uh, <laughs> I know this giant sea monster that was just a yeah, favor. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> I think I have Big Mouth too, so yeah, I say that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean And if it really probably... comes down to it <laughs> we we got a giant sea monster at our beck and call. Once. Really now, I thought those killed sailors. Not if uh, not if they like them enough. <laughs> yeah, well. Who'd have thought? Does the uh, sea monster know how to uh, collapse mines? Well, I don't know. Uh, she collapsed the fuck out of the vault that we were in. Yeah, well, tell her to go and collapse all the mines of those Kureshi bastards. Ah, all right. If we got no other use for her, I'll tell her. <laughs> <laughs> this is just all drunk. I'm not going to remember yeah. that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he'll wake up and he did it. Yep. <laughs> I used the boon. Like, ah. Yep. 
Uh, yeah, so then both Tara and Mr. Dibs can give me a spirit roll if they'd like to recover sanity. Yes. Actually, I'm actually going to take the gambling. Oh, nice. Put on my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fine. I was looking at where to put plus one True. with my bottles, and I was like, ugh. As an edge is where I would put it. <laughs> Do I get to assist? Uh, yeah. You can assist. What should I roll for assist? Uh, what are you, how are you assisting? Or were you boosting the spirit? I, I was going to, but then we went out on the town, and I don't know. Right. Be doing that. Yeah, that it would have to be up for like the entire time, which isn't really feasible, unfortunately. Uh, how about with my spirit? And I'm just very, like, so you don't. Yeah, you don't need to worry about those. Uh, it would, would have to be a skill. Busting my creepypescent lady balls. <laughs> That's quite a sentence. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm just along for the ride. Oh. I mean, you, you make sure that none of them, uh, neither of them get, like, shanked in the back while they're, yeah. they're like, passed out at the bar or something. Or I, like, or, or I bet someone to shank me in the back. Yeah. <laughs> They do anything I, real stupid. Yeah. Benny well spent. I got an eight. Nice. I got a six. All right, one is point of sanity, and then two points for you, Tara, if you if you have two points. However, I also have this wound and fatigue from last time. I don't you have know. a wound? I guess. Wait, where did you get a wound? I don't know. It's on my sheet. It might have been from the fight, honestly, which would have been healed by the doctor. I'm assuming, but. Unless, I guess... oh yeah, we probably just forgot about that because it was at the end of the session. Yeah, t two times ago. Well, I mean, yeah, like that. Yeah, it's probably gone by now. It's been a couple of weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, don't worry about it. It's definitely healed. Okay. Yeah. If anything, and the fatigue is gone okay. as well. Because I wasn't sure how long that lasted. It lasts for a month. <laughs> oh my God! All right, Luca, play me, play that song. <laughs> You're just perpetually tired. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's called <laughs> being an insomniac. An insomniac. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm ready. I'm always ready because I never <laughs> sleep. But I'm never at my best. <laughs> I'm at half-assed all the time. Yep. Um, yeah. So a uh, an all-in-all, -all very. Uh, debaucherous couple of days for the the crew and for the uh, uh, the officers yourselves which uh, was, it's good to recharge the best way that pirates recharge mm -hmm. um, one thing to note uh, sort of like towards the end of, of that week uh, at one point sort of in the morning you guys have come back from the the better part of your um, your activities uh um harun kind of comes down uh and like bangs on all your your cabin doors mm. like what time is this uh it's like eight in the morning so i don't know robin maybe you're up i'm assuming mr dibs and tara are not no Let's see, went to bed at three, maybe. Pretty drunk. I mean, I probably, probably went to bed with them, yeah. I'd say I'd be up at 11. Yeah, so eight in the morning. Bang, bang. Uh... Captain, yeah. officers. Yeah. Uh, Not today. <clears throat> Not an officer today. It's an emergency. Uh... I don't know. There is a strange looking man who is eyeing our ship up. Uh, just. Uh, I'll be there in a second. Just have Robin shoot him. Deal with it later. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll uh, see. Hang on. I'll, I'll go look. <clears throat> Actually, uh. 
Actually, yeah. is Paul, where's Paul? I'm, I'll have Paul fly up to the deck and I'll. Okay. So um, the ship is currently in dry dock right now. Uh, you guys can, you know, still be on it because they're just doing the like hull basically. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, Ooh, what time do they start working? Probably pretty early. Early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I'll have Paul um, go fly up on the deck, and I'll work through him while laying in bed. Okay, so you you see through Paul um, this uh, Drossian man, probably in his like mid forties. Uh, he's got like a braided beard uh, with sort of like a salt and pepper going on, and, like this long mane of hair uh, held back by a. Um, like a bandana. And is he and, just like uh, just like openly looking at the ship? Yeah, he's just kinda like walking down sort of like the uh um, the edge of the, the scrapyard, just sort of like very openly almost like ogling the ship. Um The thing you notice the most about his appearance is that he has these like very bright, piercing green eyes. Like have we seen that before? They, they're like almost luminous. Um. Oh, hey! Now that Paul is a familiar, does he have the sight? Um, I never thought about that. If he can, sure. Why not? Does. And can I see the sight through Paul? Yeah. Is there a magical aura on this dude? Nope. Okay. Just very bright green eyes. All right. Uh, am I am I on deck right now? Uh, you probably take a little bit to get on, but uh, yeah, you I'll, sort of get up to the. I'll probably meet her as as she's walking out. And let her know what I saw. Most of the crew is um, not here because, you know, they're they're out out on the town, uh, like you guys were. Um, it's just Haroon and a handful, uh, the, the three Karaites, um, because they don't seem interested in hanging out in this city for some reason. Oh, that's right. They're on the show. I need to hang out with them more. <laughs> yeah, they like you too. You're like some, I got so of, much to do. Kind of like yeah. a chosen one or something. I can't remember. To mm -hmm. them. Like, oh, you're amazing. You're on a ship. <laughs> I'm on a boat. <laughs> on a boat. <laughs> All right. Hey, excuse me. Hello. Uh, you? He kind of like uh, sees you and uh, yeah. Are, are you wearing your your captain's get up? Uh, <laughs> uh, no. I, I, what am I wearing? Probably not much. I like threw on, um, I threw on whatever scrappy ass coat I got lying around and, and I grabbed my hat. Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, he kind of like <laughs> smiles and, and waves and says, uh, hey, good morning. Nice hat. Uh, thank you. Uh, do you like the ship? Oh, yes. Beautiful frigate. Oh, thank you. Can I help you? Are you Captain Najar? Uh, yeah, who's asking? Uh, my name is Kaleman Okoro. You've been served. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I am uh, associated with the uh, the Kersey Nautical Society. Oh, oh, right. Yes, we were there yesterday. The other uh, day. Or a bit ago. Uh, a couple days ago. Yeah, a bit ago. <laughs> uh, yes, I came to apologize for our clerk. He is... Uh, he has a stick up his ass. Oh, yeah, we, we got... We know this. It was, it was large. Can I buy you a drink? Or maybe some coffee? 
Uh, I want coffee. Maybe. Uh, can you tell you what? Uh, come back in like three hours, and I'll I'll make <laughs> time for you. Three hours. Uh, very well. Lunch time. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's at this point I realize that I'm not actually wearing pants. <laughs> just like, ah, uh, oops. But I'm like standing behind the banister, so I'd, yep. <laughs> I'd probably come up around now, like fully armed and geared, and be like, all right, who do I need to shoot? Ah, uh, no one. He's from the. Remember the clerk with the stick up his ass? Yeah. Uh, that uh, from that place. Oh, it's too fucking early for this. <laughs> um yeah so I, once you once you sort of say state your time he walks away okay. <laughs> oh but yeah mr dibs you, you sort of see the guys sort of like his back walking away mm -hmm. you know all this fancy shit takes a long time to put on right <laughs> uh i mean Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, I just, now I'm angry at him. I don't even <laughs> know him. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not excited about him. <laughs> I'm not excited. <laughs> no. I'm, gonna go I'm, a, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> I forgot my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed. Um, yeah, so you guys probably sleep more. <laughs> And uh, at uh, a couple hours later, um, in a more reasonable time, um, the uh, uh, Kalaman Okoro comes wandering back. Um, you hear this sort of like shout, which, by the way, that that whole conversation was like shouted uh, a, a pretty good distance, like across the the shipyard. He has a stick up his ass. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll probably go meet him then, where he, where he was standing. Okay. <laughs> are are uh, Mr. Dibs or Tara going to do that, or gonna wait? I'm up and I'm I'm ready now. Okay. As ready as I can be. Yep. So you guys kind of uh, meet him, uh, on the uh, on the the shoreline. So it's a uh... ah, well uh. Good morning. It looks like you're a little more awake now. <laughs> yeah, we weren't prepared for visitors earlier. Ah, well, uh... We were drinking away a bad memory. I suppose I can understand that. You are, um... Enterprising individuals, by the looks of it. You could say that. Uh, care to walk to the shore side? I feel like, uh... Conversation is best had when you can see the ocean. Um, yes, yeah, it's it's like just sort of down to the, the the edge of the shipyard, so you can see out into the into the ocean. Okay. And uh, he says, um, um, yes. Yeah, so, how do I begin with this? Uh, as I said, I am Kalaman Okoro, uh, Captain Tusan, but uh, not to anyone right now. Uh, Part of the Nautical Society? Uh, something like that. My family founded it uh, mm -hmm. a while ago. It has been uh, co-opted by some more monetarily <laughs> motivated individuals uh, in recent years. Oh, okay. But... Uh, in good faith or no? Eh, just the way of the world. Okay. The world runs on coin, not adventure. <laughs> How do you feel about that? He just kind of like shrugs and says, Eh, I decided a while ago that I didn't really feel like being a person who changes things low aspirations that's what my mother said 
<laughs> but uh, she must be so proud. <laughs> I just like experiencing the world. Oh, that's not terrible. Doesn't fit in with the Explorer Society? That doesn't sound right. Well, it costs money to explore the world. Yeah. I know that game. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed.